Hey everybody, so Sephora recently had their annual VIB sale. If you're not familiar with that, what that is, basically it's 20% off everything in the entire store and it's eligible to those who are VIB members and I wait for this every year and kind of like stockpile the things that I need to refill or buy and things that I'm interested in or Christmas gifts, things like that because 20% off everything does not happen very often at Sephora. So it happened last weekend. I went ahead and made a purchase, put it all here in this bag really cute bag that comes with your purchase. Um, I did my purchase online and yeah, came in the mail, was it yesterday? Or the day before, so it's really exciting. Now not all of it I'm gonna open because one of the items is a, a gift for myself um, and it's for Christmas. I don't know if any of you do that, but uh, I will often buy things for myself but then not actually open them or play with them and I'll wrap them as like my own Christmas gift. Um, my husband and I do that all the time because I don't know exactly what he wants for Christmas and he doesn't know exactly what I want so sometimes it's just easier to buy our own and then wrap them and put them under the tree and it's kind of like a surprise because Christmas is still well over a month out so I don't know. That's how we do it in this house anyways. And then one gift is for my mother-in-law. I'm not sure if she watches these videos, so a warning to her if she is, stop watching the video because I don't want you to see what you're getting for Christmas. Okay, so starting off, some of the things I've broken into already. The first being from NARS. This is the NARS uh, Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Power Powder. I've already opened it. Uh, this is the second one that I've owned comes in a little cute bag like this, and it's by far my favorite setting powder. I'm not gonna talk about it too much. Oh, sorry, I will turn my phone off so that doesn't disturb us. I'm not gonna talk about it too much in this video because I've talked about it so much before, but I will show it to you. Um, it's just a beautifully mattifying, light reflecting powder. That's what it looks like, but doesn't go on your skin white. So yeah, I've already broken into that bad boy because I have been, I used the last one down to like the bare bones. If you saw that, you'll see in, a, in an upcoming empties video. So I'm excited about that. The second thing I purchased, I've been eyeing for a long time. And every time I go in store, they're actually sold out of this color. So I got it online. This is from Bite Beauty. And I've wanted to try out, this is the high pigment pencil. I wanted to try out this line because it's all food grade ingredients, so you consume your lipstick inevitably. It's not as bad as some of the other stuff that could have weird chemicals in it, so it's interested for that because it's food grade. And um, I open it up. This is what it looks like. And there's the logo there, Bite. It's like a peachy nude color. I remember trying it in the summer and I especially loved it. Let's watch it for you. It's very pigmented and very glossy. How pretty that color is. But I'm even liking it right now in like the fall, winter. I'll zoom in, it's on my lips. So that's the color there. I don't know, it's definitely one of my favorites. This is a more expensive lip product. I don't usually splurge for things, lip products that are super expensive, but there was something about this color and then about the brand in particular bite that I just thought it was worth the splurge. So that's that one. The next thing I got is a new BB cream, because you all know I love trying new BB creams, and I did lots of research, trying to figure out which one I wanted to try next. Um, I wanted to try a higher end one this time, and I decided to go with the brand Super Goop. That's the brand there, Super Goop. Well, I guess it's a CC cream, Daily Correct CC cream. Silly me. Either way, kind of the same deal. Um, I am wearing it today, however, I'll show it to you. So it looks like. I got the shade light to medium because all the reviews online I heard it runs really light so I didn't want to get the light or the fair one because I didn't want it to be too white on me. So I got light to medium thinking it would be okay and it's actually quite dark. I swatched it on my hand when it arrived in the mail and it like oxidized on my hand quite dark and I was like oh dear. So today's the first day I tried it and I mixed it with a lighter foundation that I have. I still thought it would be too dark given the swatch but I don't know, it looks fine to me, like absolutely fine. So I guess I'm gonna have to be brave and try it out on its own on a day that maybe I'm not really going anywhere in case it does oxidize super dark. But um, as far as like the coverage and texture and things like that, after first use, I like it. But it's hard to tell because I mixed it with the foundation. So I'll probably have a review on that coming up. Let me know if you want to see it. What's next? The next thing is 
my Christmas present to myself that I'm not going to open, but I really want to. I'm going to wrap it right after this video. This is the Smashbox Color and Contour Masterclass 2 palette. Oh, funny. I thought I ordered the Masterclass 3. Maybe I didn't. I'm confused now. I need to go look at my order. Regardless, this is what it looks like. Um, and it says it's a 65, or it's a $300 value for $65. And it basically opens up like a book, and it's full of matte and shimmer shadows, blushes, bronzer, and contour shades. So it's just got lots of goodies in it. I feel like experimenting with eyeshadows. They're good quality eyeshadows, at least I've heard. So I'll do a review on this once I open it, but that's going under the tree. Once we put the tree up, I haven't done that yet. The next thing is probably one of the most favorite things I've tried out so far. Um, I'm wearing it today. It's the first time I've tried something from Anastasia or Anastasia, however you want to say it, of Beverly Hills, the brow product, and I got the Dip Brow Pomade. That's what it looks like. I have been eyeing this up for a long, long time. Um, I got the shade Taupe, and basically it's like a gel formula. It comes like this. So the reason I like it is because obviously it puts the tint in your brow and it draws out your brows, but because it's gel it also holds the hairs in place. So it's just, in my opinion, very, very time saving and uh, I had high hopes for it and I've tried it twice. I tried it last night and today and loved it both times. It made it so fast and easy to do my brows. There's my brows there. I need to get them. Um, threaded but regardless it made it they're so fast and easy so pigmented and it holds the eyebrows in place so I think this is gonna be a favorite for a long time to come I think I will definitely be repurchasing it I also got a brow brush because I didn't have a specific like brush to use with a pomade like that if I can find it here it is it's just the Sephora brand one just an angled eyebrow brush like that and you just dip it in the pomade and then do your eyebrows. I'm sure you'll see it in a get ready with me coming up because I love it. All right, the last kind of big item in here, it's not for me, but it's for my um, mother-in-law, although I would love to have it myself. And it is one of the Sephora favorite kits. This is the Skin Wonderland kit. And this is what it looks like. So beautiful, so it's full of different brands, high-end brands of skincare, different products in here. So there's um, a treatment enzyme peel, a Caudalie hand and nail cream, Clarins tonic body oil, uh, Josie Moran argon infinity creamy oil, Jerlique rose water balancing, uh, there's Kate Somerville, Love. Lavanilla, <laughs> sorry to say, Laboratories, Lost Attain, Nude Skin Care, Ole Hendrickson, and Shiseido. A lot of different things for her to try out in there, so I don't know. I tried to think about what I would like, and this is something I would definitely love to like just try out products and figure out what I like before investing in them, so I really hope she likes that. And then, last couple of things um, are samples or Point perks. I used up a hundred dollars or hundred dollars, a hundred points on this Bobbi Brown BB cream. That's what it looks like there. I haven't tried it yet, but for a hundred points, I thought it was definitely worth trying out, and it's actually quite a good size. Pull it out so you can see it. There it is there. So for a hundred points, I mean, I think that's pretty decent. Maybe I'll do a separate review on that since I feel like I have such a good handle on um, what makes a good and bad BB cream. And then the last thing were just the samples that I'll show you really quickly. I picked the Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick Sample Pack. So there's four down here. I wore one of the colors last night on our date night. What was it? Rush. This color right here. It's probably hard to see with the glare of the sun, but it actually it was really, really pretty. Um, I contemplated buying it, actually. But I already bought a high-end lipstick, so I wasn't going to. Then I got the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer Oil Free, which I've heard great things about, so I'm gonna try that out. I got the Derma Doctor DD Cream. <laughs> so it's not very much to try out in this little foil packet, so I don't know how good of an opinion I'll get on it, but hey, I thought I would try it out. And then the last thing is I got this um, envelope full of different perfume samples. 
As you can see, I'm not a big perfume person. I actually don't own any perfume except the little sample spray bottles and like body mist. I don't actually own a perfume. Nothing smells good to me. Oh, I'm getting whiff it right now. Nothing, I don't know. I've just never come across one where I was like, ooh, I wanna smell like that all the time. So I've never bought a perfume. But yeah, that's my VIB haul. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you wanna see any reviews and thank you so much for watching, bye.